hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters welcome back to my channel it's time for a monthly makeup basket update now last month I decided there's hair in there um, last month I decided that I was going to try and do smaller baskets so that I could actually get through the stuff and use it and not feel so overwhelmed and I'm very pleased to say that that worked this month so I'm gonna stick to that sort of now um, I'm basically just gonna go through these products here all of this stuff is like palettes and these are in my um, eyeshadow project for the year so ignore them but let's go through what we've got here uh, I'll start with like base stuff beauty blender bounce foundation now mine is 3.55 I bought this um, as my summer shade a long time ago and didn't really use it all that much. Um, so this is not the right color for me. Obviously, it's too dark, but I can lighten it up. I have the ability to do that. And I actually don't mind it. I wouldn't... Look, with my skin in the current state that it's in being much more on the dry side, it's not one that I would repurchase. Um, but I can use it and I'm going to. Um, so that one stays. It's like, it's fine. It wears well. Everything wears well on me these days. That's the upside of having dry skin. Um, but it also looks quite good on the skin. The coverage isn't very high, which is my preference nowadays. Um, thanks to having nice, clear skin again. So, you know... That one stays. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This is in 13 Rose Bay. This is also just probably like a teeny, teeny, tiny smidge too dark for me. Um, this, I wouldn't consider this my like summer shade, but I've seen so little sun um, in the last year that it's like, it's, it's really not funny. I'm very, very fair. I'm definitely at my fairest. Um, now this is, look, she's pretty matte. She's pretty matte. Um, and if I'm going through a phase where my skin is particularly dry, um, it does cling to like dry patches and stuff, but I think I might try and pan it. Like, I think this might be the next one that goes into my project pan. And if I'm just not really getting along with it, then I can declutter it. But there's days when I've worn this where I'm like, oh yeah, okay, that works. I can, you know, make it work. It doesn't have to go to waste. Um, but then there's also days where I'm like, mm, maybe it's not my favorite. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll try and have a go at it. If I can't get through it, I'll give it to a friend. And if I can get through it, then that's great because it's another one that I can finish up. Concealers. Uh, I have the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer here. This one I'm going to declutter. It's way too dry for me. I can't use it under my eyes um, and I can't use it on my face. It just, it's like, even when my skin's not too bad and it's very well prepped, um, it's like it just mm, clashes with my skin. Uh, it doesn't sit nicely. It looks dry. It's just not it's not great. So I'm going to declutter that one. This is a Jeffree Star concealer in C9. Um, this, look, I don't love it. I wouldn't buy it again, but I can use it. So I think this might actually be the next one that I pan. Also, I hate this fucking star on top. I hate it. Like, okay, cool. It looks cool, but Every time I fucking use this thing, I stab myself. So I may even just snap that off if it gets too much for me. But yeah, that one's going in the pan box. Um, Power 10 Formula Nutrition Mist by It's Skin. I actually put this in my project pan um, in my last update. So that one's definitely going to get panned. I like it. It's good. These have a micro mister, which is really nice. Revolution. This is the matte base powder in P5. Um, here's a, a nice little fact for you. This is basically a bronzer shade for me now. Lol. Uh, now, it, I know it doesn't look like it, but it does oxidize a bit when it goes on the skin. So, um, I can use it as a bronzing shade, basically. 
as like it goes for like being a powder it works really well um what I kind of found that I liked for this after you know I put it on my face for the first time and I was like oh shit this is not a powder shade for me it's a bronzing powder um the next few times that I used it when I put my um foundation on I wanted to set my foundation I would just go around with a big fluffy brush all around the perimeter of my face uh, with this and it like set my base and bronzed at the same time and then I would just use a different powder in like the center of my face and where I didn't want a bronzy effect so I'm just going to hold on to it for now because I actually really liked using it it was kind of cut out a step all together for me like the bronzing step which isn't something that I want in my life right now because I'm kind of working on a bronzer that I really want to finish um, but that doesn't mean it won't be helpful in the future especially during winter I'm probably going to get even more pale throughout this winter so you know mm, there's that that one can stay um, all right, Hourglass, this is the ambient lighting blush in Mecca Glow so I actually use this a lot in the last month because I was having this internal struggle where I'm like I hate the color but I really like the finish um, and I think I'm gonna declutter it it's probably a little bit unfair to say that I hate the color um, that's like that's pretty strong I don't actually hate it I just don't really like it all that much and I just had a look in my um, old ambient lighting blush palette which I've had kicking around for 600 years um, and I feel like it's kind of close enough to the center shade although the center shade is more Barbie pink and this one's more peachy pink and oh I don't know what the fuck do I do no fuck it I'm getting rid of it I didn't enjoy it why no that one can go a friend can have it the palette stays I, I like the palette um okay bit of lace beauty this is the treasure highlighter so this was uh it was actually sent by a subscriber for us to um use in a beauty news video which we did and then we repressed it and I took it home now I've been using it this month and what I can say is oh, look it is really pretty but this is one of those highlighters that it seems to go on the skin quite heavy. I sort of, I feel like it, it feels more like how an eyeshadow applies, sort of rich and heavy and vibrant. Um, and as a highlighter, it's just a bit too much. Also, I don't like the scent and I can smell it right now just having it open. So I'm actually going to get rid of that one I might ask mum if she wants to play with it because she, she's been getting into some like weird makeup trends lately totally not mum like don't you you focus camera don't focus on this makeup focus on this makeup all right over here let's do let's do the lipsticks because these are fairly easy so I put three lipsticks in um, I wanted to test their formula and color over the last month uh, which I did and what I found is the Natio one this is in flutter I really like this one this is a beautiful nude shade then we have the Rimmel by Kate my nude which looks like so and we have the essence color up shine on in shade 10 now the essence one oh my god um I love it it's almost like a lip gloss slash balm with a tint I love it I'm I'm keeping it I love it um the Natio one I love the color it looks beautiful on my skin the Rimmel one swatched I like the look of it on my skin uh sorry on my lips I don't it's too pink it almost somehow pulls off like this almost barbie pink not into it that one can go the other two can stay and then we have eye related things so the Linda Holberg pencils I played with these and I I really like them um my favorite one is actually calf 
flash. So this is sort of like a cool toned, mm, like sort of icy grayish brown. Uh, that looks really, really nice on my lower waterline and lower lash line. Um, the blue, Guilty Mood, okay. Now the blue and the green, definitely not going to be ones that I use often in my life, but the formula is top notch and they are nice shades. Um, I don't have a whole lot of colored liners in my life. I've kind of like got rid of all of the crappy formula ones and held on to the ones that are really good. Um, and I think I just want to hold on to these. Look at this like bronzy orange. It's insane. Um, that one is Altair Flash. And then there's the um, Delighted Mood, which is uh, like a pinky shade. This one's probably the least likely that I'm going to use. I probably will just put this in my lip liner um, container and use it that way. But I'm going to hold on to all of them because I enjoyed using them. Then there's the Stiller Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner. It's in Black Obsidian Ink. So this is a cushion pot. You push your brush in there to like get product out of it. It's liquid that comes up through the cushion. Um, I don't think this is really like this is packaging that was trendy and innovative during its time but it's not it's not the smartest packaging um formula i like so i'm actually going to put this in my project pen once i have finished up my like pen liner that's currently in there i don't think this is going to last very long if it just sort of sits and gets used here and there i think it's going to dry out so i want to actually get some use out of it because when I used it, I did enjoy it. And finally, I have the Essence I Need a Miracle Lash Tinting Complex Mascara. I don't really like this. Um, I felt like it was quite dry. Um, it doesn't lengthen or volumize all that much. And mm, I think life's a bit too short to use shit mascara. So I'm going to declutter it. Okay, it is time for new things. So, um... Let me, let me go through these things. Uh, I have two bronzers here. I've got both of my butter bronzers from Physicians Formula. Um, I, what shades do I have? I have Deep Bronzer, which is this one here. That's deep. Um, and this one is Sun Kissed. Sun Kissed. Um, so basically, I want to try these out. And I want to pick one that's going to be the next one that I try to, um, I don't know if I'm going to like pan it completely or if I just want to try and hit pan. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I want to choose one of these to work on. So it's going into the project so that this, this month I can work that out. Um, I did bring in some powders because I still don't know what powder I want to pan next. I was going to do the Revolution one, but it's not going to work for me right now. So I pulled out the Astralis uh, Pressed Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. It's just a translucent powder. I thought that might be an alright option for me at this time. And then I saw these guys and these have been kicking around for a long time. And I thought, fuck man, I've got to do something with these. And now is the time to do it because my skin is dry and I don't know if that's going to change when I go off my medication. So these are the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. I have Ethereal, which is sort of the like translucent. I have Mood, which is the purpley shade and then I have dim which is look to be fair dim I could almost use as a damn bronzer at the moment um not really but there we go so I've got three shades there I want to have play with these um as an oily skinned girl I really found that I just couldn't use these they they didn't they didn't help my oily skin situation um but I did use some ambient lighting powders uh, in the, the wardrobe. Um, was it? Or 
No, it wasn't. God, I have used an ambient lighting powder recently on my drier skin and I got along with it. So I'm kind of like, let's experiment with that a bit more because I want to know what the go is with them and whether I might be able to actually focus on one and use it. Um, then I pulled out some highlighters. Now, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know where to start with highlighters and I don't like, eh, I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of want to like pan potentially one that's in my, um, in this guy, in my uh, Gwen Stefani palette, but then I don't know if I actually want to do that. So I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided what I want to do. Um, but when I was in my drawer, I was looking through my Becca highlighters because I'm currently almost done with my Becca highlighters. How do I open this bastard? And I realized it was this one. I realized that I had this from an episode of the Makeup Breakup. And I was like, oh, bitch, that is not going to survive. Um, Becca highlighters repress very well, but this one was done in a way where, like, we we've not given it the best possible chance that it has of survival. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm going to pull that out. And then I was like, I know there's another Becca one. It's this, this is champagne pop. Now this one was destroyed and repressed. Can you even tell it looks immaculate? So I decided to pull that one out just to play with it. Um, see if I even like it. It's a nice pale gold. It should work for me. And then I was like, oh, I saw this. And I was like, that went through an episode of the Makeup Breakup as well. I wonder if it survived. Can't even tell you the amount of times that I have opened repressed products um, and they've just shattered. Um, and highlighters can be notorious for that, especially like anything matte as well, like matte eyeshadows, uh, especially Morphe ones. They are just, they're fucked. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. It survived, um, but I don't know how long it's going to survive for. So I thought, you know what, let's put that one in as well. Try it out, see if I like it. Um, and these might, well, these two at least, if I like the way they look at the on the skin, then I probably do want to start sort of focusing on them and um, trying to get some use out of them because, you know, they're, they're not going to last forever. Um, and this is probably an area where I just want to start. Might want to, you know, either get rid of them or start using them more. All right, base products. So I've got two primers. I've got the cover of blah, 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 blah. Cover FX Blurring Primer. Uh, that's a, like, silicon-based primer. I don't know if that will stay I just want to have like I've barely used it so I just want to give it a go if I don't like it get rid of it and then I have the Smashbox Vlada Petal Metal Primer this one I'm sure it contains silicones um but it's more of like a it's more of a cream type that has like a sort of bronzy glow I don't know if that's gonna work for me um I got it in PR, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll give them a go. Otherwise, they can just go. Um, I'm trying out some more concealers and foundations. I'm getting to the point with uh, my foundation collection where I, I kind of know it a little bit better. Like, we're getting there. We're making steps. So I have the CYO Matte Foundation in 203. I'm going to give that a go. And I'm bringing back the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation. This is in Soft Ivory. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if, if that's one that I can use or not. Um, and, yeah, just decide what I'm doing with them. Um... Urban Decay Naked Skin, so I've sort of been playing with this a little bit recently, but very, like, sp sporadically. Uh, so I thought I'll put that one in because I th think I hate it, but I need to use it a little bit more to be sure. Um, and I'm also bringing back a uh, Wet n Wild concealer as well. I think I have... Do I have two of these or just the one? I'm not too sure, but I just... I need to know. Neither of these I can use under my eyes. They're no good. Um, 
as far as I'm aware. I'm going to test it out a bit more. Um, but if I can't really use them on my face, oh, not that I can't use them on my face, but if I'm not super happy with the results of using them on my face, I'm just going to, I'm going to get rid of them. And finally, three lipsticks. These are all Ulta 3 uh, lipsticks. I have the shades Coco, uh, Bear and Rush. So they're all sort of nudie shades. Brown nude, pink nude, sort of terracotta nude. Um, try them out. See if I like the formula. See if I like the colours. If not, they can all be decluttered, which would be three more products out of my collection. Focus camera. I know this is very hard work, but you need to focus. Okay, guys. So that is my monthly makeup basket update. These are the products that I'm going to be sort of re-familiarizing myself with this month. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, that's it. This little nest egg of goodies right here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have used anything here and you've got feelings about it, maybe you want to rant or rave, um, let me know in the comments. I'm always in there. I'm always reading them and I will see you in the next one. Bye.